Hi, um, this is Stacia, and um, I'm going to play another training game. Um, I'm on my on a quest to reach 1700 on chess.com by the end of the year, and um, in Rapid. So I'm going to play another 1510 game. I just played one, and my opponent blundered in the opening. So that was nice of him. Um, but I expect uh, this game will be tougher. Okay, so we're facing North Face 1907. Looks like he's from China. No, Turkey. <laughs> yeah, I don't know my flags, do I? Turkey. He's rated 1534. And I'm going to play d4 against the Sicilian. This is the Smith Mora Gambit. I would love it if he accepted the gambit, but if he doesn't, that's okay. Um, I like that I get a nice pawn center. The best declines are to take once, though, and after c3, like maybe push or play like knight f6, going into a c3 Sicilian. So he took once. Let's see, will he go for it? See, up for the challenge. My last game, I um, had a really easy game, and I still managed to spend way too much time. So I'm going to um, really pay attention to my time management. I'm ahead of the, on the clock so far. So if there's easy natural moves, I do think I should play them. Okay, I was afraid of this. This is the C3 Sicilian. Um, and I don't really remember these lines. He's attacking my pawn, so I pretty much am on my own at this point. I don't think I'm going to recall this. I'm pretty sure I push. I'm pretty sure I push and then probably want to take here. I don't think this knight does go on c3. All right, well, I think I'm going to push. So where's that knight going? Probably here. He'll be undefended there. Then I either take or I develop. All right, well, let's play this. Now I'm behind on the clock. <clears throat> Well, this, is, this opening will be challenging for me since I don't know this line. So probably the first thing I'll do after this game is do a study on this variation. Because I did change my whole repertoire this year, so I run into stuff that I don't know. And I think it's helpful to just learn it as I run into it. 55, now I'm thinking maybe takes, but... Let's see, because um, he's not threatening pawn takes because I would play queen takes knight. So this pawn is pinned. So I always teach my kids to attack the pinned piece. So a knight of three looks right. Guards e5 as well. I think this is right. This feels familiar, so maybe I am remembering it so far. If given the chance, I'd like to play this, I think. But I think black will stop me. What will black do now? Let's have a look. Yeah, knight there, that seems right. This doesn't seem familiar. I think that might be wrong. So he attacked my pawn, but it's defended. This seems like a move now. So I don't know how these lines normally go, but I'm real hesitant to play like takes and knight c3 because if he takes, I take with my b pawn and my weak pawn is on the open c file. And that's easy play for black. Um, but I do think taking now is right. 
This is still hanging, so it's probably not right. Probably should develop. How about bishop c4? He might play here. If he does that, I take. All right, I should probably just develop because. <laughs> yeah, all right, I'm going to do this. Yeah, I'm uh, overanalyzing the opening, so come on, Stacia. Don't fall behind on the clock. Make quick, easy, logical decisions. So I probably will take here soon. Yeah, knight there. I'm thinking bishop b3, natural move. He could go here and win the bishop pair. I'm okay with that. I can uh, survive. He is threatening this then, but I'll take with a knight. That's a gambit. Is it good? I have no idea. Probably is. All right, I'm going to play here. I could also play queen e2, but I'm going to do this. All right, he probably wants to develop his bishops next, so... Could play here. Will I take? Definitely. Um, he's probably gonna play here then. Oh, actually, if here, he would take with a queen. So I am gonna castle kingside. Um, very little chance that I don't. Yeah, he wants his, his bishop out. Okay. So is it time to take the pawn? I think it is. Then I can develop my knight here. I could also castle. I don't want to take with a knight, I don't think. So, okay, I think we're going to take here. He can check me, but I'll play bishop d2. That should be totally fine. I'll develop my queen to d2, I think, and still put the knight on c3. All right, so let's do this. You know what, though? Um, maybe this is bad for me now. Hmm. You know what? I will have this. So okay, let's let's play. Um, C takes. I always like to look at this forcing kind of stuff, but it feels early, too early. If here takes bishop takes pawn takes, I don't know. Oh, he played that. Hmm. Okay, this gives us a French-like pawn structure. Where he has a bad bishop. And I have knight c3. Okay, so in a French, he would attack my D pawn. So there is no queen B6 right now. Um, there is no knight F5. This is going to be like a bad French, isn't it? <laughs> it looks really bad as a French because he doesn't have any play against my pawn. I still have bishop here if needed. Okay, I think I'm going to castle. All right, um, I need to just develop now. Knight c3 is a move I want to play. I might play bishop e3. Now, just like in a French, I think that a dark a trade of dark square bishops would be a, of benefit to me because that would leave him with his bad bishop. 
So that's one thing I'm going to try to do. This should be seven. Yeah, I'm tempted to, well, I can't do it now. This queen's also on that square, so. Um, yeah, knight c3, I think. He's probably going to castle. Let's just play it. I don't want to um, waste time on moves that I know are good. <laughs> if I'm wrong, then, you know, I'm wrong. But I don't think so. All right. Um, got a little bit of sniffles. Well, I definitely see this kind of plan looks nice. Just create a, um, what do you call that? I was going to call it a barricade. That's not what it's called. I can't believe I forget what that's called. Oh my gosh. It's hurting my head that I don't remember what that's called. Starts with a B, right? <laughs> My brain is thinking catapult. Okay, how about I think about the game? Um, this is a move, but I would play bishop c2. So um, what do I want to do here? I think I want to develop my dark square bishop. Where does he belong? Um, I could play solid. I could do that. And then just play... Rook c1, bishop c2, queen d3, very simple plan. I don't see where else he goes. Um, I might play f4 eventually. Um, so if I'm going to play f4, I don't want the bishop doing this kind of stuff. He'll just be in the way. So I'm going to play this. Yeah, he, uh, his knight is here instead of on f6, which means the knight's not guarding h7, which means that this plan of bishop c2 and queen d3 is annoying. He'll have to play g6. That's a weakening move. I could play bishop h6 then. I'll have to go rook here, and I'll get that trade I wanted. I might even attack. I don't know. <laughs> Once that bishop's gone, then my knight wants to come to d6. So, okay, I really like my position right now. What did he just play? Oh, he went there. <laughs> All right, well, um, rook c1 is a normal move. Let's put the rook on the open file. But I also like doing this and putting pressure right away. It is possible my rook will come like to f1 behind this rook later or something. So is he really useful here? Is that or bishop c2? Well, I kind of want to... Um, Oh, I just realized his knight can come into uh, c4. That's kind of annoying. I think if he plays knight h5, I'd like to play um, knight d2. So I'm going to do this first. Oh, the other knight can come in. Wow. I'm not all here, I guess. All right, he has some queenside play. But the thing about the knight here is that I do have b3. So he won't be staying there. If queen d3, g6, bishop h6, rook e1. He can also attack the queen, though. So maybe instead of um, moving the rook, he could play knight to b4. I kind of want to play a3. It's a weakening move, though. Mm 
this move would um, lose my light square bishop. So I'm going to try and keep my light square bishop. It's much better than his. So a3. Wow. Less than seven minutes. Okay. Well, I have 10 second increment. So this is my next move. So I feel like this move prepared it because I don't want to face this move after g6, bishop h6, rook e8. Well, actually, instead of rook e8, he could play knight b4 right there. So, oh, that's slow. What is the point of that? Is he going to try to play here? Probably. Well, he has to do something. All right, queen d3, right? Queen d3, g6. Wow, he just blundered checkmate. <laughs> I feel bad for him. What's better, taking a ton or a pawn or checkmate? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm going to play it. Wow. Well, that was easier than I thought it would be. So two easy games tonight. I don't think I'll play another one, but I do want to try to learn from this game now because, like I said. Um, I didn't know this opening. So let's, uh, um, let's do this correctly. Okay, we're going to start by going through the game without an engine quickly and make some conclusions. John Bartholomew taught me that. So, you know, so I'm going to tell him good game. I hope he doesn't think that's insulting him. <laughs> he just missed one thing. But I guess all in all, I didn't really like his play. I, w I have a lot of advice for him if I was um, teaching him. But let's see. I probably, uh, the computer's going to have advice for me. <laughs> all right, so let's, let's go through this without the engine first. Smithmore declined. C3 Sicilian. Now, I think this is all theory. Bishop c4. Let's just check and see if that's theory real quick. Oh, I can't yet. But I'm going to think that we went out of theory. Um, yeah, I don't know. This might be theory too. I don't know. But um, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if this is theoretical, although I think black's position isn't that good. Maybe this move is bad. Because this created that French pawn structure and made a bad bishop. And I really think this knight belongs on f6. So, yeah, I think it was correct of me not to take on passant here. So we'll, we'll look with the engine on that. Yeah, from here, I thought my play was really natural. I mean, I came up with a really obvious plan. doesn't get more obvious than this. <laughs> and... I expected g6. I really thought he'd play here. And then it would be an interesting game from there. Because I would play bishop h6. He would move his rook. He'd probably play bishop here. I would probably trade. And then play from there, I guess. I would have this kind of idea. Have this kind of idea. There's lots of ideas for white. I really think it's just a bad French for black. So let's turn on the engine now and see the game. Yeah, it looks like I was fine, but right here, I actually wasn't as good as I thought at this moment. One retry. Oh, when I played a3, that was a mistake. Wow. So probably better is queen d3. I didn't like this move, though. Yeah, it likes queen d3. Um, and let's see what the engine wants. Wow, queen b1. Didn't even consider that. 
I think my move was better because it gave him a chance to blunder, <laughs> you know. Yeah, and CG6 has to be played here too. Why couldn't he play here though? And then Queen D1. Computer's playing weird. <laughs> oh, wow. You know what the computer did? It's saying that now it wants to play Queen D3 and G6 is even more weakening because H6 was played. And we're going to take that pawn. Wow. So cool. All right. Um, opening book. I think this is correct. E5, yeah. Knight D5. Knight F3 is correct. So despite not knowing the line, I actually kind of figured it out. It did look familiar. I mean, I looked at this months ago. Bishop C4, is this a real move? Looks like it's a good one for white, so I'm glad. That's always a, a strong diagonal for the bishop. And now knight b6 is normal. Bishop b3 is normal. Yeah, d5 is a normal move here. Or d5 or d6 here. e6 is a move, looks like, but it's good for white. So I'm wondering what the computer will say about this. A5. Yeah, that's annoying, isn't it? Yeah, A5. I have to play A4 and make a home for my bishop on A2. Um, E6. Yeah, I would think that's fine, too. But probably we're almost out of book. So I took there. It seems like this is all right. So I'm pretty happy with how I played this. Now, I thought D5 might be a mistake. Looks like it's a move, though. Does the computer like it, too? does. So maybe I'm wrong about that. Wow, so that's excellent. Now I don't think I should take, and I am right about that. Yeah, if I take, I think I'm just helping him develop, and his bishop will be freed later, and you know, now he can play this at some moment. I don't know. That doesn't seem as good. White's still better, though. So instead I castled. Seems reasonable. Yeah, this is where the knight wants to be, you know, and this is a great move to get in because if you play the move c3, then your knight's not going to go to c3. So I was able to take here first and then put my knight there. And my knights are on the ideal squares. So I like this, and I have space thanks to my e5 pawn controlling stuff. Yeah, this is just a bad French in my opinion. Yeah, I didn't know what to play here. I didn't. Computer wants a3 here. <laughs> Doesn't want to develop the bishop. Bishop c2, I did consider that. So bishop b3 is okay. Bishop there. Bishop c2. Yes, yeah, is all fine. Now this is funny. Computer said A3 is inaccurate, and now it's the top engine choice. <laughs> kind of happy to see that. Yeah, this queen B1, though, is really the top choice. That is a cool idea, Getting him to try, get, trying to get him to play H6. Because that would be the normal response, I think. But if he can't play H6, he has to play G6. Not something he wants to play, I don't think. So yeah, this is fine. Yeah, and then he just blunders, unfortunately. So after here, yeah, g6 has to be played. Now let's see how the computer would continue this. Bishop h6, that's what I thought too. I thought rook, rook over. Now what should I play? Queen d2 now. Queen e3, queen d2. Queen d2. So I think, oh, I'm going to go knight c4, or no, black is. I'm going to go queen f4. So this is the maneuver the computer wants. Yeah, makes sense. 
we'll probably end up doing this. So let's follow the computer line for fun so we can learn something about how to attack when um, you've induced g6 like this. So we'll go queen d2. What is black going to do? I thought bishop f8. Um, computer says knight c4. Yeah, that's better. Queen f4. So we've got a nice hold on the g5 square. Giving away our pawn. I just noticed that. Well, I guess not really because I have rook b1. Yeah, it wants to play this rook over. The knight should probably go back. Knight a5. I'm confused. Can't we just take this? Why is it saying knight a5? Rook fb1, knight a5. Okay, I would take your knight. <laughs> wow, it's bad to take the knight. Why? Wow, what happens if I take this? Oh, the knight's hanging. Wow, I missed that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a bit blind right now. That's right. When he take, I have had this blind spot before. When he, when someone takes a pawn, be careful. It's often defending something. So I was defending this knight, and I totally missed that idea. Okay, well, that's interesting. So after this, and here, computer wants to go um, knight a5 because we can't take here yet because of this. So knight g5 should be played. Yeah, so that's annoying. Wow, black has to play this. Getting scary, I think. Queen g3. Yeah, so now, you know, these kinds of ideas are coming. So, okay. Let's go through the highlights of the game. One last time. This is how I like to do it. I do a threefold analysis. <laughs> First, you go through and you come up with some conclusions. Then you um, check them with the engine. And then you go through and try to determine like one or two things that you learned, like highlights of the game. So for me, um, it was the C3 Sicilian. Um, So I didn't know these could turn into a French structure, but this certainly did. So that's one thing I definitely learned. And um, yeah, I would say that queen b1 idea is really cool. So that's my first idea. And the second one is to watch out for this queen side play over here. Because um, yeah, I like knight c5, knight c4. I think it's a blunder. Oh, this is what happened in the game. He has to play g6 first. <laughs> but he played it immediately. So he had the right idea. It's actually a good plan, but, you know, don't get checkmated. <laughs> All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, looks like I'm gaining rating points. So I'm on my quest to 1700, so I'll be playing a lot more training games. I hope that you'll join me. Thanks for watching. Bye.